how were you taught? How were you taught as a child to lower your shine? Like what was the reward for you not being you? Like there was a reward for you not being you, whether it was like you didn't get in trouble, right? Or you just got left alone, some of you. So there was a reward because children work off reward. This is what a, like a pacifier kind of is. And so the idea of how were you taught to lower your shine with some form of reward? Now, some of it, the reward could be that you just didn't get punished, that you were left alone. Like it doesn't have to be like, OK, because you didn't sing and you didn't wiggle and you didn't yell. Right. So this is where it comes down to like the subtle belief systems about your definition of right or wrong. This is like some of you that are afraid to be seen online. This is your wound, by the way. And you were probably super shiny. And someone was like, uh, nobody wants to see that. Or you don't get to do that here. Or you have to have an inside voice. I mean, we come from the the kind of the de uh, the depression parents. Right. So like that generation of like kids are seen and not heard. You know, because the noise, the, the, the bigger your ego gets, the more sensitive to noise you become. Because you no longer like the screeches of a child. You're like, oh, what is that? You know, and it's funny because most people that I have channeled with this last session, out of all of you that had the love theme, I am love, only one of you was a parent. Interesting. Because children are unconditional love. And so what you've done was you've all migrated through, through the animal kingdom. Every one of you. If you don't have kids, it's the animals. Because the animals, right, they're not going to hurt you as much as the humans have. And I, it's, it's just like, wow, like just getting to see it in these sessions. Okay. And so those of you who have the, the theme of freedom, you get excited about trapping yourself in stuff. And ego calls it the golden cage. Right. Get back into the golden cage. Get into another relationship that's going to take your power. Take this. Uh, say yes to this that you don't want to do. Right. And so inner child's like, I don't want to play with you. But ego's like, but there's no one else. And this is what your inner child says about the ego. There's no one else to play with. Now, what you do is because this is who you're used to playing with. This is who you're attracted to. This is who you date. This is who you work for. This is who you work with until you begin to turn the energy back towards the tree. Then once you start to play the game of hot and cold to higher self in the second session you get, then what happens is you start to understand what ego has been wanting you to look at versus what you could choose to look at. And then the third session is they uh, they show you how your self-concept is being hidden from the ego projection of the world. Like, look at over here and look over here and look over here. And so you don't even know how you feel. You know, how many of you get something happened to you and you stop and you go, let me see how I feel about what this person just said to me. Right. Because there's just an immediate projection and you go right into the story because you feel bad. You're trying to understand a story. OK, so instead of pausing the movie and being like, is this my highest joy? We don't do that. We try to figure out how to make this joyful because at the center core of the excitement frequency is I am joy. Your inner child is the joy of love, the joy of freedom, the joy of prosperity, the joy. It's joy. OK, so love is just your flavor. It's just your it's your sauce. It's your dressing. But it doesn't mean that you aren't all the other things. It has just been what you are seeking the most from the seeds of your heart. And it has been your biggest struggle. So with that being said, once we got kind of finished, I think we have one or two more sessions left on the third session with people there. The, the, the meetings that we've been having in the morning is like, these people don't know how to play. <laughs> they have lost their play. And I mean, they understand this, obviously, because they're tapped in and turned on. And, and again, I had lost my play, too. My play for a very long time was this stuff. Right. It was like, OK, this I'm seeking. And, and basically ego is going, well, you're not smart enough. You got to learn more. You got to you got to learn another modality. You got to go learn how to manifest. You got to go learn this. 
And, and you guys know, like the first probably 11 years, well, 10 years of my work, I never picked up a book. I played all the time and I made half a million dollars a year. Okay. And I played and I manifested other people that liked to do the things that I didn't like to do until I guess I got to this place where it was like, okay, it's time for me to now heal deeper. And I thought I was supposed to grow up. <laughs> that was not what I was about to do. I was supposed to heal those or not heal, but I was supposed to quantum leap those old programs within me that were causing me to manifest icky playmates basically. But I wasn't, I wasn't broken. And neither are you. You are so perfect that the ego has to work around the clock to keep you away from this tree. It is 24 hours a day luring you through social media, through other people's triggers, through something you see, something that you hear. Okay. And now that I'm